Carlos Alcaraz versus Alexander Zverev is the final of the French Open for 2024. And both guys have had battles to get to this stage. Zverev entered the tournament as the number four seed and would take on Nadal in the first round. And after a close second set, would get through in straight. 6-3, 7-6, 6-3. In the second round, he'd take on Goffin. And after a close first set, would get through in straight. 7-6, 6-2, 6-2. Third round, he'd take on Griegsball, the 26th seed. And this was a battle. After going down a double break in the fifth, Zverev would fight back to win. 3-6, 6-4, 6-2, 4-6, 7-6. In the fourth round, he'd take on Runa, the 13th seed, who had his own battles along the way to get to this stage. And after splitting the first four sets, Zverev would run away with the fifth. 4-6-6-1-5-7-7-6-6-2 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Zverev would take on Diminor, the number 11 seed, a man he'd beaten seven out of nine times in their careers. And this was no different. With Zverev fighting back in the second to win in straights, 6-4-7-6-6-4 to advance to the semifinals. In the semifinals, Zverev would take on the number seven seed, Rude, who just had a walkover against the injured Novak Djokovic. And after dropping the first set, would fight back to win. 2 6 6 2 6 4 6 Two, to advance to the final. Alcaraz entered the tournament as the number three seed. We'll take on the lucky loser Wolf in the first round, which is no problem getting through in straights. 6 1, 6 2, 6 1. In the second round, he'd take on the qualifier De Jong, who'd beaten Draper in five sets in the first round. And after dropping the third set, Alcaraz would go on to win. 6 3, 6 4, 2 6, 6 2. In the third round, he'd take on Corda, the 27th seed, who he'd had some battles with in the past. And after a close second set, Alcaraz would get through in straights. 6 4, 7 6, 6 3, to get to the fourth round. In the fourth round, he'd take on Ojali Asim, the 21st seed, who had just beaten Shelton in the previous round. And after being up a set and a break, FAA would get injured, allowing Carlos to win easily. 6-3, 6-3, 6-1 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Alcaraz would take on the number nine, City Pass, who he'd beaten five times previously. And this was no different. With Alcaraz getting through in straights, 6-3, 7-6, 6-4 to advance to the semifinals. In the semifinals, Alcaraz would take on the Australian Open champion and number two seed, Sinner. And this was a battle. After going down two sets to one, Alcaraz would fight back to win. 2-6, 6-3, 3-6, 6-4, 6-3 to advance to the final. These guys have played nine times before with Zverev leading 5-4 in their head-to-head, including a match they played here a couple years ago where Zverev got the win. But their previous match did go to Alcaraz in an easy straight sets win in Indian Wells earlier in the season. Is Zverev's going to win this one? He needs to serve massive, like he did against Rude. He served so well against Rude now. Of course, Rude was a little bit sick, but he's got to serve like that against Alcaraz, get a lot of aces, a lot of free points, and really be aggressive in this matchup if he's going to win his first Grand Slam. If Alcaraz is going to win this one, he needs to be a lot better than he was against Sinner. The first couple of sets against Sinner, he was playing so many errors and maybe got a little bit fortunate with the cramping of Sinner. So he's going to have to get off to a good start and play well from the start because he can't go down a set again against someone like Zverev who has the power. I love this final. I think this is such a great Grand Slam final. Three versus four in the world. I've got to go with Alcaraz though. In four sets, I reckon the experience of Grand Slam tennis and also Zverev having nerves of trying to win his first Grand Slam might just get to him in the end. So I'm going to go with Alcaraz in four. But let me know down in the comments below who's going to win the French Open.